Hi, I'm Kristen Omdahl and welcome back to my beauty vlog. This is episode three. In the last couple of beauty vlogs, I've shown you different techniques that I use for putting on my makeup and how I prep my lips before lipstick. And in this video, I thought you might enjoy watching how I take all my makeup off and another way that I use that sugar scrub that I showed you in the previous video. So let's get started. Instead of doing this in my bathroom, I'm doing it in my van at my vanity. So I have a bowl of warm water in front of me. Otherwise, I would normally do this in my bathroom with warm tap water. Um, I like to take my makeup off with a cleansing oil instead of using soap. There's a couple of reasons why I do this. Number one, Cleaning your face and your skin in general with cleansing oil comes from a holistic background of like defeating like, meaning that you would use oil to clean oil off your face. I like it for a number of reasons. It doesn't remove the natural oils in my skin, but it does remove makeup and unclog my pores from anything else that any kind of pollution or dirt that I've acquired throughout the day. It's very mild on my skin and it leaves my skin feeling moisturized, not dry at the end. And it's really easy to do also. So I'm gonna start by taking off my eyelashes, not my real eyelashes, the ones that I put on, the false lashes that I like to wear. You can also clean those with cleansing oil too. I would just use a Q-tip and rub off the little bit of glue residue that's on there or any makeup residue that remains. I'm gonna start with a washcloth and get it wet. I like to get my face wet first before I put the oil on. And I think part of it is just because I like um, to have my skin warm and moist first too. Okay, I have oil in my pump bottle. I like to combine two oils. I prefer argan oil and avocado oil, but you could use coconut oil, you could use olive oil, you could use sunflower oil, almond oil. Uh, I just think it's nice to combine two oils together. And if you wanted to do a little research on it, there are certain oils that are better for acne prone skin. Uh, there are certain oils that are better for um, skin with that's sensitive to different allergies. Um, I found that argan oil was best for mature aging skin and I happen to really like mild avocado oil. All right, so now, because I have eye makeup on, I did gently rub my eyes. I'm gonna rinse the water, rinse my uh, washcloth one more time. And then in general, I like to rub circles on my skin I think that it helps the warm water and the oil. The warm water opens up your pores and then the oil and the light friction of the washcloth helps remove the makeup and the oil off of my face. I do not recommend rubbing hard though. It's never a good idea to rub hard on your skin, especially the more aged your skin becomes, the more delicate it is and the more likely you are to uh, cause more damage. Okay, so at this point, my skin is clean. It is not greasy or oily at all. It just feels clean. It feels moist, but it does not feel oily at all. Um, at this point, I could put moisturizer on, but now that I have my makeup removed, this is also a really great time to do a sugar scrub on your whole face. I showed you the other day, or last week, how I used my sugar scrub to um, exfoliate my lips before putting on lipstick. And tonight I thought you might enjoy seeing how I use this on my whole face. Uh, it's very safe for your face. In fact, when I first started using sugar scrub on my face, it was because I had done some research and I found that the sugar in, that when sugar breaks down on your skin in the exfoliating process, it uh, turns into glycolic acid on your skin and that ends up working as an anti-aging treatment as well. All right, so I've, I'll have i post the link to the recipe again in the video description here. And what I'm doing is working tiny circles in my skin. This helps slough off dead skin cells. It 
It makes your skin feel so incredibly smooth. It also helps promote circulation. And I wouldn't rub really hard. I would rub gently. But oh my gosh, it feels so good. This feels really good on your hands too. Anytime I exfoliate my face, I always try to work on my neck as well. And you could work on your chest. I know some, I've had a few comments with people have asked me what I do for my chest and my neck. Basically anything I do on my face, I can do on my chest and my neck too. So whether it's exfoliating or moisturizing, just as a rule of thumb, if you're doing it on your face, you can do it on your neck and your chest as well. All right, so I'm gonna rinse this off of my hands. I'm gonna grab a separate washcloth now. Since the other one has makeup on it and stuff, I brought an extra washcloth for doing this and I'll get it wet. Oh gosh, that feels so good. The best part of doing the sugar exfoliation, oh, by the way, I don't love salt scrubs on my face. I feel like they're a little harsh. The sugar definitely feels softer on the face than uh, salt. That's why I prefer a sugar scrub. I feel like it's just a little bit more mild, but man, is it effective. What, let me rinse my face one more time. Oh. Okay. Dry it off a little bit. Okay, my skin, I mean, it, it doesn't even feel like the same skin. It's so soft, sloughing off those dead skin cells. It just brings a new life to your skin. My skin feels tighter, it feels smoother. Oh, just feels amazing. Next, I like to apply my eye cream doesn't take very much, just a little dab under each eye. And then I apply a face cream all over my face. And I use a little bit more of this product because I also apply it to my neck and my chest. So I'm going to put a little bit on my face, get some on my neck and my chest as well. There we go, and that's my nighttime routine. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. If you end up trying my sugar scrub or my cleansing oil recipes, please feel welcome to let me know what you think. If you have questions about anything at all or requests for new videos, please leave those for me in the comments as well. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.